that. Well, this is 7 Artisans new 28mm 5.6M. Let's check it out. Hi, it's Jimmy Chang here from Red35. Just a few months ago, I reviewed a beautiful vintage inspired Leica M Mang lens, the TT Artisan 28mm 5.6. And today, well, I have another one from 7 Artisans. I know, I know. I also get confused between these two companies, TT Artisan and 7 Artisans. I always think that they are the same companies for some reasons. And to make things even more confusing, <laughs> the new lens also has the same focal length and aperture. And they're both made as couple rangefinder menu lens for Leica M cameras. I know this is a very unique and niche lens, but a lens nonetheless. I'm a shooter and I use my lenses. So when it comes to unique lenses like this, I would collect it and shoot with it for some fun. And today's review is based on how I feel about this lens and the collectability for such a very kind of cool looking thing for your camera. As said before, this 7 Artisans 28mm 5.6 is a Leica M mount lens. And that can be used in any Leica M rangefinder cameras, film or digital. But like any M mount lenses, you can easily adapt to any modern digital cameras, including Micro Four Thirds. And for the purpose of this review, I'll focus on using this lens on my Pen F and my EM5 Mark III, two of the most vintage looking cameras in my collection. First and foremost, I would like to use one word to describe the build of any 7 Artisans lenses. Solid. Well, having said that, this 7 Artisans 28mm 5.6 is definitely one of the best ones from them yet. It isn't just being metal barrels or even the push-on metal lens hood. It's more to do with the quality feel of the aperture click and the focus. It is, and I'm not <laughs> joking, very Leica like. Well, this is a great compliment because for those who have used Leica M lenses before can concur that their lenses are amongst the best in terms of build. The smoothness usually comes from the brass focus helicoids. While the 7 Artisans doesn't seem to contain any brass in its construction, but the smoothness from the focusing ring is unbelievably, well, smooth. The aperture click is certain but subtle, which has a very professional dampening effect that doesn't disturb a baby even when you turn the aperture ring right next to his ear. <laughs> Unlike some cheaper 7 Artisan manual lenses, all the text are engraved onto the barrel on this 28mm 5.6 to give a more premium build. Well, as you can see, the 7 Artisan's 28mm 5.6 is tiny, but don't be fooled by size. It's pretty weighty due to its all metal construction. But then again, at 130 gram, this lens is still very light for any camera you wish to adapt it to. And even with a M2 Micro Four Thirds adapter, a 38 mm diameter with a length of just 44 mm, this lens is still ultra compact for any street shooters. I don't usually make statements on usability, but after reading some comments from my previous TT Artisans 28mm 5.6 review, I know some people just can't grasp the idea or the usefulness of a 5.6 aperture. To many, this small aperture seems like a non-starter to any new photographer's eyes. But let me tell you, for all those hardcore street photographers who utilize hyper-focus technique for their photography, then this 5.6 aperture is very useful. And full frame or crop, it doesn't really matter. And it is even better when it's adapted to Michael Four Thirds, as the equivalent depth of field is more like f11 or f12, even with this wider setting. So if hyper focus is your thing, well, 
you will love this lens. Well, this is a vintage inspired lens with a relatively simple construction. Six elements in four groups, including one high refractive element and two ultra low dispersion elements. Simple design usually use good results. And saying that, it's definitely sharp enough to inspire confidence shooting in film or digital <laughs> and enough detail on micro four third sensors with good amount of detail to count fine lines on your forehead. As you can see, this lens has a very sharp center, even at wide open 5.6. Stopping down will not improve things much, but diffraction would definitely soften the image at f16. And surprisingly though, edges are a similar story. It captures details at 5.6, but it does get better when stopping down further to f8, before diffraction kicks in again and smears the details at f16 again. However, this lens is, well, once again, a vintage inspired lens that gives you a unique look for your images. While the lens has coating to reduce flare and increase contrast, which is needed for color photography, but if you shoot analog, the colors are a bit flat. While I can further enhance the colors in post in digital, I personally think that this lens is more a black and white lens. I've taken a few shots around London and the results were very pleasing to say the least. With the right editing, you can almost think that these images were shot with a film camera. With that said, the image quality is perhaps better for analog photography than digital. However, this is a very subjective conclusion. So I'll let you decide. Bokeh is, well, very vintage if you somehow manage to get it, because the closest focusing distance is one meter, which is very modest even by Liger's usual 70 centimeters reference. But like I said, the bokeh is somewhat determines the lens rendering. And I must use the word again, the 7 Artisan's 28mm 5.6 has a very vintage draw. Chromatic aberration is a non-issue. And given what it is, this lens performs extremely well. There is a hint of barrel distortion, but nothing that I would say bad and can be easily corrected in post. There is a heavy vignette when used wide open on a full frame camera, and only a tiny little bit on a micro four thirds, but it all goes away as soon as you stop down. So overall, the 7 Artisan's 28mm 5.6 is a pretty cool working vintage lens with a vintage character that melts your photographic eyes. It's hard not to at least give the 7 Artisan's 28mm 5.6 a closer look. It is beautifully constructed and even the look is very unique when it compares to its closest rival, the TT Artisan's 28mm 5.6M. And I wouldn't say which one is better as they are very different in both design and draw. But the 7 Artisans is undoubtedly very special. So should you avoid it, consider it, shortlist it, or just go ahead and buy it? Well, at only $299, it is a very affordable lens, considering what it is. It compares favorably well against TT Artisans equally gorgeous 28mm 5.6 and therefore if you're in the market looking for a unique vintage inspired lens with a <laughs> unique vintage draw you should shortlist this lens and the ultimate decision depends on what you prefer in terms of external appearance for your preferred setup and personally i find all the black and less exaggerated round metal hood of the seven artisans more discreet on the street and this brings to the end of my review today 
and let me know your thoughts about the 7 Artisans new 28mm 5.6. And you know what to do now. Thumb if you like this video and sub if you want to stay in touch with all things photography, filmmaking and of course, Michael Four Thirds. Peace. Guys, if you've reached this far and watched the usual kind of outtake of any of my videos, and uh, I'm, I'm going to make this in a proper video announcement anyway, is the photo walk will be happening. I already leave a, a, a poll in the community section so you can vote which date you would prefer. I'm going to take the majority uh, of the, the, the voting. So uh, most likely at the moment, it looks like it's going to be July. So, uh, yeah, if you want to vote for which day you want to meet me in London for a photo walk, you're very welcome to. And I hope to see you all there. Anyway, until next time, i see you soon. Bye for now.